Hello friends, it's me, Dan. Welcome to day 18 of Chance Tober. Today's prompt is from Bird Tober 2021. And the prompt is Yellow Bellied Sapsucker, which is a small woodpecker. They are about the size of a robin. They are mostly black and white with um, red foreheads but the males will have red throats as well they like to um, perch in uh, upright on trees and use their tails to help prop them up against the tree I guess like many woodpeckers They do like, um, they got their name because they do like the sugary sap. Um, they like to eat that and they'll eat any insect that comes along that also likes that sap. They do like um, to be at elevation of about 6,500 feet. Um, and they like hardwoods and conifer trees, forests. That seems to be more or less, I guess, it. Cute little woodpecker with a stout beak. Their population is declining, but as far as conservation status is concerned, it hasn't reached a point of concern. Um, I guess on their status, they are listed as least concern although the population, like I said, is decreasing. They are most found um, east central Alaska to southern Newfoundland. And they can get as far south as Maryland and Iowa. Canada's boreal forest supports nearly 55% of the population. They do, as I said, mostly eat sap, but also will eat fruit and nuts and then whatever else comes along their way. They do migrate. Um, to Mexico and the West Indies and Central America. So we might see them if you're in the States. Very interesting little bird. I do seem to enjoy these. I, I you know what, honestly, I, I really do enjoy the uh, bird tober prompts. It's nice to draw a living creature. It's nice to learn a little bit of something, even though it's just Wikipedia. Um, there seem to be a lot of resources for birds, of course, in general. Um, but yeah, I do enjoy the process of looking at these different images and this one is a combination of a few different images cobbled together to make this one little guy. And something I have learned by this, by doing this chance tober process again, doing a drawing, making a video, is that you know it, it doesn't seem quite obvious at the start, but the video takes probably longer to do than the actual drawing um, even just trying to simplify it it uh, it it can take a little bit longer and then the exporting and uploading and all that good stuff it you know it, it bottom line is with the time that I take to make a video I could be doing another drawing doing another prompt doing something else with Chance Tober, you know, I, I have 12 prompts uh, I could draw from. Um, 
which goes to, you know, after this, what do I do? I've, I've had conversations with you in the past about um, linear stories and, and just enjoying the prompts in general. So, who knows? After this, if I'm not doing a, you know, if I haven't come up with some sort of comic or film or script to be doing, well, there's nothing to stop me from uh, honestly combining these prompts with last year's prompts and just going full bore um, here with, with more of these and maybe there's a video and maybe there's not. Like I said, there these birds are great. Um, this is the second prompt from Birdtober I have done. The first one being uh, the Railady, which was day seven. So, so there's quite a bit of chance that I will get to do another one before the month is out. And then after that, I don't know. Maybe I'll just keep going. The birds are fun. I enjoy it. And honestly, at this point, that's really all I have to say about today and today's prompt. And aside from, uh, I got a little messy with trying to do something interesting with the tree it's on. Again, you find you're pushing something too far and can't quite get back, but. At the end of the day, it all works out just fine. Just fine. So at this point, I try to go back in with my dip pen, add some texture, and it does some nice bits where it, it scrapes up some of the paper because the paper is still wet, and I, which I don't mind. I don't mind that part, but I don't know. I was having a tough time here getting how I wanted it to look. Which is probably because I wasn't being patient and letting everything dry properly. So I do make a pretty, pretty nice mess of it. So I decided to come in and collage some brown paper bag I have laying around. Just for a little added texture.
And once I let all that dry, just go in a little bit more and try to add just a little bit of texture. Use the hair dryer there just to help that along. A little bit of white highlight, but honestly, at this point, I'm feeling like I'm done. There's not much more I can do that won't uh, detract from the bird, which is why we're all here. I should probably just come in with some white acrylic paint or some gouache and just give it that highlight, but yeah, next time. So that seems to be just about it for me, my friends. See you soon. Tell your friends, like and subscribe, share, whatever, or don't. As long as you keep coming back, uh, I'll keep uh, doing these drawings. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.